We're catching up now with Kendall Galbraith, CEO of the Rural, Regional and Remote Women's Network, or the Triple R Network as we affectionately know it here. Good morning, Kendall. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, going really well, Kendall, and looking forward to uh, today's topic, whatever that may be. So what are we talking about today? <laughs> okay, so today we're going to talk about our next Triple R Roundtable on the 20th of May. Ah, yes. Last time we caught up, we started talking about the roundtables. And um, yeah, it's oh. super exciting talking about those. So what um, what's the topic for this discussion? Well, this time we'll be talking about tourism across the rural, regional and remote parts of Western Australia. Ah, mm. yes. Tourism, always an interesting discussion. So um, what are you going to be looking at specifically with regards tourism? Over the past 12 months, we've had international and domestic travel restrictions in place. And as a result, WA has experienced increased levels of interstate tourism. Yes, yes. No, we've seen that all around the state. Just, um, yeah, lots of people travelling around. Yeah, so look, on a whole, this is a positive outcome. But in saying that, it also has been problematic in terms of capacity, supply chains, road safety and available services. So our roundtable will discuss this in detail. We'll explore what is working, what is not, and the number one question we wish to answer in this session is, can the regions cope with increased demand? Yeah, okay, that, that's quite interesting. So what about from your perspective there in particular, Kendall, because um, you obviously in the Southwest District, so yeah, what, what's your take on that? So look, from my perspective in Margaret River, which I do appreciate the situation is somewhat accelerated in Margaret River, it has been hectic. So we've experienced a housing crisis. The council are proposing changes to the local planning policy that would prevent group dwellings from being approved as holiday homes. We've had more car accidents on Caves Road last summer than I recall in the last 15 years I've lived here. And we simply do not have enough parking in our main street to accommodate the influx of visitors. It really is like living in another world here on holiday weekends and over the summer. Yeah, no, and I like how you said that. That's just Margaret River, but we're hearing similar reports from places like Albany and, yeah, take your pick, it's happening everywhere. So yeah. so how can people participate in this roundtable? Yeah, so anyone is welcome to attend. It is a breakfast event held at the West Coast Eagles Function Centre in Bath Lane on the 20th of May from 7.30am to 9.30am. You just need to go to our website and purchase a ticket. It is $65 for members and $85 for non-members. And, of course, breakfast is included. Oh, fantastic. And um, I believe there is a panel. So who's going to be on the panel? Yes, yeah, so we'll be hearing from Lisa Shree, the CEO of the Buffett and Jetty, uh, Sally Paulin, who is a regional tourism operator and advocate. She also sits on the Board of Tourism Council WA. We have Julie Hillier, a tourism operator from Collie, and she's a brilliant speaker. And then we have other special guests attending, like Jessica Shaw, MLA, who is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister for Tourism, Culture and the Arts and Heritage, and Robin Clark, MLA for Murray Wellington. Wow, sounds like you have a pretty diverse group of women there to hear <laughs> from and a fantastic opportunity for anyone who's interested in this topic. Yeah, it totally is, Tom. I encourage people to visit our website, read all about it, book your ticket and come along and meet some new people and participate in a really interesting discussion that is going to have an impact on our state and our region right now. Yeah, great stuff. And look, listeners, you know where to go. Just Google Triple R Network, the Rural, Regional and Remote Women's Network and have a look on social media as well. Kendall, great to catch up with you this morning. Yeah, thanks a lot. See you.